Hello, I am Panos Kodzathanasis, and this is ASEAN Movie Pulse Interviews. Today I am here with Mr. Takamas Oe, Director of Wild Bones, which is now screening at uh, BIFAN. How are you, Mr. Takamasa? Kyo wa ikaga desu ka? Ah. Kyo wa kino sake no da kara chotto omoi me desu. Ah. Yesterday, um, Director Oe was drinking a bit of alcohol, so he's a little bit tired today, but otherwise fine. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, all right. So, but very, it's a it's it's a good kind of uh, feeling tired. So, okay, great, great. Okay, so first question: uh, After uh, working in Drive My Car, which came with all these awards and Oscars, etc., does he find that his job is easier for him? Doors open, let's say, more easier now. I know Drive My Car is a very good thing for the people who took it. Uh, the people who took it, the people who took it, the people who took it, え、色々が簡単になったとか、それとも逆に、なんか色々が難しくなったかという感じでしょう。質問あんまり変化がない。っていう感じはあるんですけど、あの、だからな、今回やっぱり韓国に来て、観客に触れた時に、やっぱりド
So a lot of the the backbone of the story in terms of the the um, the role that social media plays in the story and the the character of Asuka, um, the basic outline was something that Kikuchi-san had brought up uh, and proposed. And so Oe-san saw his work partially also as uh, translating that into a film, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. into a, a, a film appropriate kind of story and structure. Mm -hmm. And uh, but can he tell us uh, in general where does he draw inspiration from for his scripts and the, and then specifically for the particular movie? Uh, ま、映画のためのまあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、
through that through AR connected back to to the kind of um, 20th century history uh, mm -hmm. or setting of. of... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, can you tell us a bit how did the idea of the particular app came about? This Mimi app in the film that it's very specific on how it works. Can you tell us a bit about that? Is there something like that in reality? I don't know. 今回のあの映画でフィーチャーされてるまあアプリはいうんあのまあそのそれをどういうふうに作ったかあのどういう発想としてそしてな何かモデルになったアプリとかありますねでしょうか十年前に僕これあ僕らはこれを発想したんですけ
、えっと、どこコミュニケーション取れるようになるから孤独が増えていくというか、ね、世界の、えっと、今までは、例えば、最初から手に入らないと思ってたら、それは欲しくないと。もしかしたら手に入るかもしれないと思うと欲しくなるかもしれないと思って、うん、人とつながれるかもしれないというテクノロジーを見せてしまったがゆえに、ものすごく、えっと、孤独が、えっと、大きく見えちゃっていうような気がする、うん。でも人間は立ち返ってみると潜在的には孤独なんだってことを忘れてしまってる。うんまあ、そういうのはあるんです。はい。So,、uh, first of all, yes, uh, uh, the, your, your interpretation is, is, is correct or he, he agrees with it.、Um, actually, in terms of, well, depression, it, he didn't, the, the aim was Was not just to talk about depression specifically, but in a broader sense, something like、uh, someone whose mental health is becoming、uh, less stable、mm -hmm. and uh, uh, kind of is under a lot of stress、uh, in terms of his mental health balance.、Um, so, and regarding the issue of loneliness,、um, fundamentally,、uh, maybe humans are, have always been lonely. Um, that hasn't changed per se.、Uh, everyone is born alone、uh, and lives alone in a, in a very basic way.、Um, yet, in, maybe in the current situation, because、uh, also the technological situation suggests that there is the possibility of being connected,、um, that, that fundamental loneliness that everyone has becomes much more apparent. In contrast to that kind of vision of being、uh, of deep connection or, or multiple connections. So, in that sense, it's not that objectively anything has changed, but maybe the way that people perceive their situation has, has changed some. えー、とどっかの、えー、と作ってるどっかのタイミングで解釈し始めたんですけど、やっぱり今の時代っていうものは、えー、やっぱり理解できないものが、まあ、非常に増えて、スマホはわかるけど、このスマホはなぜこんなに、えー、と例えば電話はなぜ通話ができるのかって、うんうんうん、なんか理由がわからないものを僕らは使ってしまっていて、そういうふうなものが増えれば増えるけど、どこか世界が理解できないものがって、なのに、すごい遠い距離まで知ったような気持ちになるというか、うん、例えば地球の裏側で起こっていることも知れちゃうような気がする。うん、なんかそういうふうなものに対して、ものすごくみんなどこかで、えっとまあ、鈍感になって生きているじゃないですけど、うん、でも本当の意味で全部に対してなんでなんでって思うと、おそらくマミアみたいなのが出ますなるとい、はい、So, and regarding the question of mental health and, and マミア Uh, mm -hmm. The character of、um, For Oesan, it, it's、uh, basically he feels like Mamiya is trying to live too seriously、um, and、uh, kind of taking、uh, maybe in a too principled way trying to understand the world.、Um, and that's within a situation in which、uh, all of us. For all of us, the kind of、um, things we don't understand about the world are increasing、mm -hmm. uh, in some way because when we use a smartphone or, or so, we, we can call someone or we can research something or connect through social media, but we actually don't really understand how it works technically. We keep using things that are beyond our understanding.、Mm -hmm. At the same time, we also feel like we kind of know what's happening on the other side of the world. Because of this technology. So there's a kind of imbalance there、um, that leads to a, a kind of conflict. And for Mamiya, this is a, the kind of, he keeps asking himself, why, why, and trying to understand、um, that kind of situation. And he, he's too serious about it. So it, it leads to his, his destabilization. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And、uh, I also found interesting、uh, the, the character of、uh, the, the protagonist, Mamiya's colleague. 
who acts like a friend, but he's not exactly a, a friend. He's for, he's in for his own self-interest. Can he maybe talk to us a bit about this character? あの、so, uh, this is an incredibly important character for the film. Um, though the, the starting point for the film is that actually Mamiya is at the center and that the film presents us with Mamiya's world, so to speak, as he experiences it. だから彼には分からない何かって考えると、例えば彼女に振られた理由も分かるようで分からない。で、彼女にあなたは何被害者ぶってる。あんたは水野のあんたのせいだから。つまり自分は彼女に振られた浮気をされた被害者だと思って
、えー、と認知されている人でなければいけないというプロデューサー側の意見があって、でキャスティングを進めてたときに、えーと、たまたま彼女に、えー、とプロデューサーが、えー、と持ってきて、で今より、今彼女って結構日本では大人気なんですけど、当時はまだカリスマなんだけど、一部の人が知っている人だったんです。うん、で、彼女を、えーとまあ、不安はあったんですけど、お会いして、リハーサルした瞬間に、あ、間違いない、彼女だというのは、そういうことになりました。Right. Uh, so, regarding the character of Anno,、uh, it actually took a, quite a while to decide on who would, who would play、uh, that character. And the producer kind of felt that they needed for that role someone who was a bit more of a well known、um, actor、uh, or actress.、Um, Uh, so they they were kind of they had trouble figuring it out,、um, also in terms of the budget、uh, that was available for this. But、uh, then they came upon the actress who eventually ended up playing Anu,、uh, who was, is now very, a very well known and popular actress. And at the time, though, was already kind of on the, on the verge of becoming well known. Um, but not yet a star or anything.、Mm -hmm. um, and、uh, so they were wavering a bit, but once they had an audition, they immediately decided, oh, this is the right act actor actress for, the for this role. アスカっていうキャラクターを、えっと、すごく理解しやすい環境にあって、彼女自体もアスカに似たような苦しみを感じながら、えっと、その、作りされていて、そういうようなものが体から出たので、いけたなと思いました。So, um, and the actress was also very good at, at capturing that kind of sense of loneliness. That、uh, the character of As Asuka、um, uh, was meant to express or, or has, has kind of inherent to, to her character.、Um, so that, that worked out really well. Mayo さんに関して言うと、えっと、これも実は難航して、えっと、何人かのオーディションじゃないですけど、お会いさせてもらったりしました。あのやっぱりこの役の難しいところっていうのは、えっと、夜に生きる人なんですけど、えっと、暗すぎる人で、うん、同時に明るさしかない人でもあるから、うん。あ、じゃあ全部言ったけど、<笑>で、それで、えっと、お会いすると、えっと、どっちかの人が結構多くてで、暗いものでやってしまうと、この映画のトーンとして変だし、まず、あのちゃんとキャラクター、アスカと、まあ、リンって言うんですけども、えっと、その二人のキャラクターが似てしまったら面白くなって、違うくしたい。うんうん、で、えっと、陰キャって言ってますけど、要は、えっとね、陰キャってわかりますか陰キャー。えー、あの、暗いキャラクター。うんうん。陰なキャラクター。うんうん、で、陽なキャラクターっていうふうにしたで。つまり、えっと、アスカにはできなかったことを、彼女にはできる可能性がある。人の人が赤くなったときに、うん、でもだったら明るい人に会えばいいじゃんってなりますけど、明るい人に会うと、実は、えっ、ー、と、明るい、本当に何も分からない明るい子になってしまうので、で、まゆさんっていうのは、実はものすごく潜在的には明るい人で、とてつもなくこうバラエティが好きだと笑うのが好きで、よく現場でも笑うんですけど、でも、多分彼女は何かしらの、えっと、孤独だとか、えっと、辛い経験だとか、きっとしたことがあるけど、なんかその感じがあったから、リンを演出するときにも、うん、その中間、明るいんだけど、夜の街にいても変じゃない。かそういう子になったような感じ。はい。一つなんだけいい、いい、全然。<笑> so, regarding the character of Mayu,、um... Actually, Oe-san met 
quite a few uh, actresses to not, these weren't auditions, but meetings to kind of uh, talk to them and, and consider them for, for this role. And um, what was the challenge was that they needed a lot of the scenes are play at are set at night. Um, and they needed someone who was, would be able to convey both a sense of kind of upbeat, light mood, but also had a sense of, of an access to a kind of more darker territory in terms of emo darker emotional territory. And many of the people he initially talked to were kind of either or, mm -hmm. and but not really ones that could negotiate both. Um, and the, the reason he need, needed someone who could do both was because it was, this character needed to stand in contrast to the character of Anno or Asuka, mm -hmm. uh, uh, who are kind of the either or uh, versions, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, and, you know, if you have someone like Asuka, very kind of dark, uh, dark emotionally, um, then you could say, okay, in contrast to that, we just need someone who's very light and upbeat, but that actually wouldn't work because it's just the flip of the flip side of the coin. And you need someone who's actually so the, the actual opposite of that is someone who has access to both mm -hmm. um, just being one side of that. Um, so the actress that, that, uh, uh, eventually ended up playing the part and had I've had that and as a person she's a very light and upbeat person who laughs a lot and brought a very good mood um to the film set as well but she also seemed to have you know difficult experiences in the background and could access that kind of, of those kinds of darker moods um so uh that worked out uh, extraordinarily well mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, can he tell us a bit about the cinematography in the film in general, what he wanted to do with the visual aspect of the movie? Ano, camera ano, nitsite no kangai kata wa nani shoka style taking in do you film toru no kangai taka. Ano. また例えば照明だっても、キャメラの使い方だ。それでどういう何を表現、どういう使い方をするか、どういう何を表現しようとしたか、それについてちょっと話してください。答えになってるかわからないんですけど、撮影監督というかキャメラマンは、えっと、米
ていうのがあるので、えっと、特にこの AR に僕は興味を持ったことが一つあるんですけど、つまり、えっと、映画的な空間って何かっていうと、見えない層がいくつも引かれてるものだと思って、うん、2前、2番目、3番目とか、うんうん、それがまるでギュッと押されたときに、人間の錯覚が、あー、空間に見えるというか、っていうようなものをやるってことなんです。逆に言うと別にそれをしなきゃいけないルールはないと思うので、平、う、面、ん、のどこか空間を持つためのね、持つっていうか、コピーするためのものではなく、平、う、面、んうん、をこういくつかの層を重ねたような感覚で映画を紡げないだろうっていうのを考えていました。うん。はい、そのえ、一番最後に。ちょっとはい、あのそのレイヤー、うん、レイヤーを,を、えー、と重,ね重,重ねるのはそうしたいという、うまあ、圧縮したい,い、えーと。必ずしも映画というものは空間を、えー、と描かなきゃいけないものではないと思う、うんうん。ああ、なるほどですね。だったら僕は僕のやり方で、えー、と平面を多層化させるような、えー、と絵作りに近づけられないと思って。うん、それはまあ AR がこれをこうすることによって、レイヤーがそこに2つ生まれるように、今回のやろうとしていることと特に相性がいいことでした。うん。そう、the way that o s a n thinks about cinematic space is、um, that in a way, what, what the idea is often that there are, there are different layers to a,、um, to, to a scene or to a, to a... To a shot, and that those layers create the, the sense of、um, being in a space or viewing a 3D space.、Um, but at the same time, it's not, there's no actual necessary rule that it has to be that way.、Um, and、um, he's not that interesting in copying kind of the idea of a 3D space or trying to reproduce that. Um, and rather, what's more interesting is to use these layers and, and to, to、uh, their overlay to create a kind of sense of, of almost virtuality.、Um, mm-hmm. And that fits very well with the theme of augmented reality in the film.、Mm-hmm. So it's not about trying to、uh, use that to simulate or copy. A 3D space, but rather to emphasize the virtuality of the cinematic space. So, in a sense, this is maybe like something like if you think of the paintings of Henri Rousseau,、mm-hmm. uh, impressionist paintings, in the way that they use layers,、uh, but not in a way that is supposed to. Accurately or, or supposedly accurately reproduce something like the sense of 3D space, but actually it's a kind of、uh, depiction of the virtuality of, of space. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, okay. And、uh, can he tell us about his opinion about the Japanese movie industry at the moment? I know, uh, ma, Genzai no Nihon no Ega Sangyo, Nitsuite Nanika, Kangae ga. <笑>あれば結,結構大きな質問なんですけど、うんあのま、現状はどうなってるかっていうことなんですね。Everyone is laughing when I'm asking this question. Everyone from Japan is laughing. I don't know why, but. <笑> okay. どこから見せばいいか分からないんですけど、まあ確かにあのちょっと壊滅的にはなっているとは思っているんですけど、うん、えー、っと、まあもちろん映画は。死なないので絶対にあのそれは信じつつも、えっと、僕は今は日本に関して言うとできるだけ、えっと、逆にこう鎖国じゃないですけど、うんうんえっと、今ちょっと日本映画って海外から見たら少しニッチになっているっていう印象がすごくあって、うんうん、でもそのニッチがまるでなんか悪いもののようにいうことがでもちろんそれはその通りなんですけど、うん、僕はこの日知さっていうものは逆にこのまま鎖国し続けるというかその、えっと、あってもいいのではないある瞬間に日本っていう風の
距離感にひっつく瞬間はないのかなと、厳しい道ですけど、期待はしたりはしていたりします。その、うん、すみません、最後の、あの、はい、鎖国みたいな状況ですが、あそれを続けていたときに、何かものすごくこう、新しい日本の文化というか、みたいになる可能性もあればいい、ねうん。まあもちろん、メジャー映画を否定するつもりではないと思います。はい uh, so, the, the situation is, is dire,、um, but、uh, at the same time, film, he doesn't believe film will. Will die or anything. Film, film will live on.、Um, to put it differently, in, in a sense, currently the current Japanese film industry is, is somewhat isolated from、uh, cinema and the rest of the world、uh, and kind of existing in a niche, so to speak.、Um, and that has all kinds of maybe、uh, negative side effects, but at the same time, That maybe also、uh, p r o v i d e the opportunity for something new to be to emerge and, and to be born in terms of、uh, a Japanese film culture.、Mm-hmm. Um, so that's it, it's a difficult situation, but he has a hope for that kind of trajectory. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, okay. And the、uh, last question I guess if you can tell us a bit about future projects, what's working on next? あ次のプロジェクトは何でしょうかあまた難しい。はい、あの、これね。いや、あの、あの、he's asking, so, Oe さん is asking if you have a, a different question. あ<笑> Okay. It's difficult to talk about the next project at the moment. It's difficult to talk about the next project at the moment. So、uh, he, he gets asked that question a lot, but at the moment it's tricky for him to talk about what's coming next. Okay, okay, no problem. <laughs> Yeah, but if you have anything else you'd, you'd like to ask, you'd, you'd love to. Okay, maybe if he, if he prefers being both director and script writer or just script writer. は自分のことは、まあ、映画作家だと思っていや、まあ、それが答えかなと思ってるんですけど、やっぱり、まあ、もちろんどういう形でも映画を作れたら、それはそれでいいというのは前提になりつつ、まあ、こちらの骨のように、多分僕のオリジナルで出てきた発想って、おそらく他の人には伝わらない本になってしまうっていうのが、過去何年も。<笑>なので、おそらく自分で発想したり、菊池と一緒にでもいいんですけど、発想したスクリプトを自分で演出するっていうのが、自分の中では自然なものなのかなと思ってます。うん uh, so, essentially, Oe さん thinks of himself as、um, simply a filmmaker. Uh, in a more general sense, or an author is the direct translation, if you, if you want to, film author, if you want to translate it from Japanese. So、uh, maybe、um, in terms of what fits him best or what suits him best, in terms, or comes most naturally、uh, to him in terms of the process, is, is simply to、um, generate original ideas that come out of his own thinking、um, that maybe are. are Uh, sometimes ideas that, that others wouldn't have had in that same way. And to then throughout the entire process of, of filmmaking, of you know, writing the script and、uh, shooting the film, try to express those and to realize those.、Um, yeah. Okay, great. Well, I guess that's it. Thank you very much. 
Thank you. ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye bye. bye, bye.